Hi, my name is Dick Ensing. Uh, I'm a Tennessee artist. We're going to bring you another free video. Now, the first, first one we showed you how to use shapes, and I'm going to use the same basic still life, and we're going to show you how to use the values now that you put the shapes in. So if you look at one of the other videos, one of the free ones, it shows you how to put the basic shapes to work for you. This time we're going to use values. Now I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush this time. It's the Pro Series number four, flat. It's got the long bristle, okay? And here again, it gets a nice chisel point on it. Use the flat. We're going to use a technique called scumbling. And when I say scumbling, this is scumbling. Take the side of your brush, scumbling the color in. Now basically, there's 11 values that we can see, and I've kind of drawn them up here. From light, here's the light source coming from this direction, okay? Make sure you know where your light source is. Goes down here, here's the middle value, here's the deep value. Basically, our eyes can see 11 values, okay? Watch the lights. Pick out the darkest values first. The darkest values I see like are the grapes, so scumble in that color. Pick up a little, little paint. I'm going to use the same color I used for the, for the sketch for the uh, drawing in the basic shapes. Pick up that color, put scumble the color in. Wherever you see those dark colors, but scumble in a big shape. Don't scumble in a little shape. Scumble in a whole mass. Little shapes won't do it. Pick up a little more paint. Now don't pick up too much when you first start. We're going to scumble these values in. Now you can do this quite rapidly in a, in a painting. And it, Watercolor people, they make a little value sketch on paper first. They're kind of smart. Then they go ahead and they, they do their painting. We do it right on our canvas. Go to the apple here. Here's your darks. Right now we're, we're putting all the dark values in that we see, okay? There's a dark shape here. Look at the bottle. The bottle's got the darks over here. Because the light, remember the light's coming from here, so your dark's going to come around from like that. Values establish the basic shape of the object, okay? This is what values do for you. Now you'll see how quickly this will take shape. You wear these brushes down a little bit, but a good brush will last you. Look at the pair here again. The pair has a dark over here. These are the dark colors, okay? Go back and forth. You know, just kind of calibrate and make sure that, that you got them all right. Go back here a little bit. It's a little darker here. Now, the next values you want to get are the middle values, okay? The middle values are somewhere about into here, okay? Right about somewhere in here. Take a little paint on the brush. Go into the middle values and start with the grapes again. Now this time, don't scumble as hard, okay? These are middle values. Leave your lights open. We're not going to put any paint in those lights. See, here's your light. There's your middle. There's your dark. Look at the apples. And this teaches you how to paint. That before you can put color in, you have to set up the, pal the, the canvas with values, okay? This is very important. After design, this is the most important thing, then color comes last. Okay. Middle values. Remember, values establish the form of the object. Always remember, remember that, and your painting will never go wrong. A little bit in the pair here, the little middle values. Now your shadows, remember the shadows. The shadows are more or less a middle value, okay? And get the big masses. Don't just hit a little spot, spot, spot. That won't do it. You have to get the big masses first. Shadow on the apple. Goes all the way down to here. See it? You'd be surprised how quickly this will develop itself. A little bit of a shadow here in the grapes. Okay. There you go. Now sometimes I'll spend in my studio, I'll spend several hours just developing a painting like this. But you can do it quite rapidly, just playing around with it and, and enjoying yourself. But see how quickly you can see how the bottle turns, the apple turns, the pear turns, the grapes turn, okay? Remember, before they can become real detailed, you have to get the values in there. And these free little lessons are a prelude to the bigger lessons. The bigger, we're going to continue this painting in a full hour video or thereabouts. So 
so you can see the full process of this painting. So now you've seen the how to put the shapes in, you've seen how to do the values in. Next thing is we're going to reconstruct it. That'll be another little free video. I'm going to show you that in another series. Appreciate you coming today. You can look me up on my website. It's dickensingartist.com. Or you can write me at dickensing at bellsouth.net. If you have any questions or anything you want to know, we'll answer the questions for you. Appreciate you coming today.